My name is Stefanos Kirkinidis, and I'm professor and dean of the UK College of Dentistry. I recall it was about 25 years ago when together with my classmate Ron Bella Hewson, during our orthodontic residency, we began a project studying asymmetries in children born with cleft lip and palate, a disfiguring disorder that requires many, many surgeries and years upon years of orthodontic treatment under the mentorship of Dan Subtelny, a legendary leader in orthodontic education. I was so positively impacted by the experience that I spent the remainder of my career being actively involved in research. While being trained in orofacial pain and temporomandibular joint disorders early in my career, I got involved with a group of people led by Ross Talents. At that time, they were investigating the pathogenesis of internal derangements in the temporomandibular joint. My project was to understand how those create the sense of pain. It turns out that 90% of people over the age of 65 suffer from temporomandibular joint osteoarthritis, and most of them hurt. It became mission in my life to find answers for those patients and improve their quality of life. The peak of my research career was in 2007 when our discovery of how the brain affects disease development in joints, including that of the temporomandibular joint, was picked up by popular media in the United States and around the world, and we were in position to educate millions of people of a new way helping those in need improve their quality of life and find treatment. What I've come to realize and what I try to teach to my own students, including dental students, is the fact that being a dentist is a doctorate which requires the ability to form the right question, develop strategies to answer those questions, and it's totally different than being expected to be spoon-fed the answers. That leads to what we call lifelong learning, so our dental graduates for many, many years are able to keep up with all the innovation for the benefit of their own patients. Having climbed the ladder of administration over the years, I had to delegate more and more of the conduct to other folks while maintaining a high altitude supervision of the project. Yes, I'm still involved. I try to spend half a day a week on research. I had a, a whole team follow me here from New York last summer. And the project we're working right now is how to make dental enamel the part of the tooth that's white out of patient's gum cells. We're in the process of proving that we're able for every patient to make their own individualized filling or crown starting from their own cells and no more rely on materials such as plastic or glass or metals for dental reconstruction. The UK as a campus, as a university, is here to serve the people of the Commonwealth and beyond and that everyone that works on the campus is willing to work very hard to accomplish this. I've been impressed by the yes, we can do it attitude, which is very positive and very refreshing to me. Having joined UK from the East Coast, I have realized that UK as a campus is the place to be as a researcher. It offers many collaborative opportunities through its many centers, such as the Marquis Castle Center and NCI designated center, the Sanders Brown Center for Aging, the Center for All Health, and many others, there's probably no other place all this activity happens in one spot. What I realized from the beginning is that we have a group of faculty that are very talented, very motivated, and willing to work hard to join me into making UK Dentistry the number one dental school in the country, maybe in the globe.